And one or both of you are the cause. What in God's name are you talking about? What is what I did? You Lord. Not uh, an aspect of the disease will be left. I know I could just say. Only me. I had the disease. Oh, but the doctor said that I was cured. And oh, I believed him. I believed him. <laughs> I'm a murderer. That's what I am. A murderer by saving. And now I'm murdering my husband. Oh, please, please. Get him, Dr. Harris, from New York Neurological Hospital. Oh, please. Oh, he's so boring. Oh, I, I didn't say it was where death may be striking at this very moment from this dreaded disease. Only the light of truth meets the dangers of syphilis. And with scientific treatment, these horrors can be brought under control and countless innocent victims saved. We must continue this important work of education and forget our prudish attitude toward sex. Enlighten your children. Teach them the facts of life. And trust them to avoid the dangerous pitfalls of these ravaging social diseases. I want to give you a concrete example of what I mean. Tom Lorenz, the son of our crusader, in our great work. Ladies and gentlemen, first, I want to thank my father that his fight against the follies of youth had saved me from a life of misery. And tonight, I want to relate to you my own experiences with this blight upon mankind. Our crowd of boys were out for a good time, and we went to a burlesque show. Oh, we thought we were regular cut-ups, all right. From the show, we went to a house party with drinks and girls and, well, all that goes with it. That was the start of months of misery, with patent medicine, quack doctors, and sleepless nights. Until finally, I came to my father for help. He had a competent physician treat me, and soon my health and spirits returned. And that's why I'm here tonight. Unashamed to spread the gospel for the benefit of the countless boys and girls who, like myself, indulge in supposedly innocent fun.
Come play ball with your feet again. Oh. Yeah. Just a moment, please. New York calling. Here's your party. Hello? Millie, I couldn't keep the news to myself any longer. Guess what? I met him, I love him, tonight he proposed. Oh, but you... Yes, I know. But I'm going to be all right. I've been to a real doctor. You had the right idea about those treatments. I laughed at you then. But I know better now. You mean you are? Oh, that's that's fine. The doctor has been treating me for over a year now. Now only a year longer. But it's worth waiting for. I know it. I can have a baby. Oh, I, I know you'll be very happy. Gee, I've got everything in the world to live for now. And just think, Millie, at one time I thought of committing suicide. Oh. <laughs> what is it, dear? Oh, it's dear, and she's going to be married. <laughs> oh, darling, you're keeping me happy. 